hi guys what is up another video game news video video game news video that's weird coming to you right now um i'm nagwa if you haven't seen my other videos check them out the past news videos have been about the sims 4 um we're working on adding to it um we do let's plays as well we have a server up for minecraft um we'll be doing some awesome let's plays me and i say let's uh, or we um me and uh, my husband toby uh, we love video games, and we want to share those with you. Now, I'm going to talk about E3. Yes, last week was E3. Um, and there were quite a few announcements that we were interested in. Um, some of them we were excited for, others we were actually confused by and disappointed by. Um, so I guess today I just want to talk about E3 with you guys. Um, and I have a list I'm going to keep referring to this list because it's kind of extensive I want to make sure I cover all the points okay so first off Mass Effect I've never played it before um, it's kind of put off in the beginning because I'm not really a cowboy fan and they were it had the cowboy thing going on but I watched the entirety of the video and um, if for those of you who know I'm a total nerd like about space and stuff I wanted to be a cosmologist might still get that degree I don't know but um, I'm actually pretty excited for the first for the next Mass Effect um, I might go back and play the other ones um, same for Fallout 4 um, but we'll talk about that a little more so Kingdom Hearts 3 why would you choose Tangled as the new universe why I mean, Frozen was cool. Frozen was a bigger deal than Tangled was. Why? I mean, probably because, um, what's his name? The guy is like an adventurer type. I don't know. But, well, they probably had it like in preparation for quite a while. Because Tangled came out quite a few years ago. But, I don't know. I'm disappointed about that. Um,. We'll see if it works or not. Still don't have a release date. That sucks. But they are coming out with a, um, a mobile game that was only available in Japan. Will now be available in the United States. Uh, Kingdom Hearts 3. Uh, Kingdom Hearts game. I'm saying. Which is awesome. Excitement. Get ready for that. Um, now. Fallout 4. As I mentioned earlier. I've never played. Um, all the hype has got me wanting to play though like I haven't even watched the trailer but the hype itself makes me want to do it plus that weird like collector's gun thing that the collector's edition comes with mm, that looks pretty boss okay now fatal fame fatal frame for Wii U um if you guys have seen my Splatoon video you know that we recently got a Wii U I think it looks pretty cool. It's it's weird, and I'm really picky about graphics, honestly, so I, the graphics aren't exactly my thing, but I think it looks, I, I'm, I don't play many horror games, but they always catch my eye for some reason, and I, I, it looks like a more serious game for Wii U, and Wii U doesn't have a lot of serious games. Um, Nintendo, you know. Nintendo's more for like the fun going players which Toby and I have been playing um, the Wii U like crazy because it's fun it's not as stressful as like as Call of Duty because Call of Duty pisses you off and then games like Minecraft you're all about planning 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 so these games are just they're fun you jump around you have fun um, but this is a more serious game, and I'm kind of interested, I'm, I'm interested, um, just to see how it is, just to see if I like it. I think I'll try it out. I'll do a Let's Play for you guys when it comes out, so you can make your own opinions on it. Who knows? Maybe you'll like it, if you have Wii U's. I don't know, a lot of hardcore gamers don't. Um, the new Metroid game. I haven't played the past Metroid games. We don't... Uh, all we have is a Nintendo 64 and we've only had that for a week. So, <clears throat> I haven't played them yet. But I did a lot of research on this 
A lot of fans are not happy. A lot of fans are not excited. What they showed at E3 was basically like soccer. So it seemed like a little sports game. Um, and, you know, it doesn't follow the same pattern as the old Metroid games. A lot of people are disappointed. But it seems like the the one of the creators of the Metroid games, or one of the original people who worked on it, has this separate idea and he's had this idea that he wants to work on and he got offered that opportunity. Well, we'll have to wait and see if it's good or not. Because sometimes creators, you know, they get the freedom to do what they want, to do this like separate thing that they never had the chance to before. And it could be awesome. Or it could be disappointing for fans. Right now, fans are disappointed. We'll have to see. So, I'm, um, you know, we'll see. Um, I don't really like the graphics on it, though. Hmm. Okay, so, <laughs> for those of you who do follow our website, I have already geeked out about LEGO Dimensions already. You've seen that elsewhere. Um, I talked about the Doctor Who and the Portal and everything. Well, they came out with a um, portal trailer at E3 for LEGO Dimensions. It was awesome. Um, I thought it was really funny. Um, it's cool how you kind of make your own rules. You don't follow Gladys's rules, and she gets pissed off by that. I like Gladys. She's one of my favorite um, villains out there. So I think it's going to be great. I think it's going to be fun. Plus, Homer Simpson, like, I think he gets smashed or something. <clears throat> Alright, Taken King. I, I didn't watch the trailer for it. I read a little bit about it. I um, saw some of the images. It looks really cool. It looks different. Um, I'm, I, I'm interested. Um, Toby's more interested than I am. Um, but I think, I think it'll be cool. It looks weird in a cool way <laughs> the new destiny trailer expansion the new destiny expansion trailer um toby plays destiny i do not um the new trailer makes me almost want to play destiny but only almost however for you destiny fans it does look pretty bomb so if you want to check it out um it it's actually been playing before a lot of youtube videos so you watch a lot of YouTube, you can either go straight to the trailer or just wait for it to pop up. Okay, Horizon Zero Dawn, robot dinosaurs. Yeah, that's all I have to say. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, I'm pretty excited for Horizon Zero Dawn. It's kind of, I don't know, I'm kind of having trouble wrapping my head around it because these dinosaurs like exist separately. What I'm thinking is there are probably some technological people who still are alive and like they use the dinosaurs to get them food and stuff. Because I really don't understand how the dinosaurs can like survive on their own because they're not dinosaurs, they're robots. And they like can't reproduce. Anyways. <sighs> no Man's Sky. What the hell? Still no release date. What are you guys doing? They were at last year's E3. You know, there's so much hype. People are gonna get people are gonna get bored. Honestly. They don't have any information about it. Um it's kind of like the Batman, the most recent um Batman video game. They pushed it back so many times. It still hasn't even come out yet. It comes out Tuesday, I believe, Monday or Tuesday, and there was so much hype in the beginning, and then it just filtered away because they kept putting it off, which I guess not giving a release date is better than putting it off and disappointing fans, but it's still pretty blah, like maybe they should have waited till this year's E3, I don't know, just my opinion, ReCore, oh my god, it looks Okay, first off, 
the trailer is adorable. Like, she's got her little robot dog, and, like, they love each other, and then he kills himself to kill the mean robots. Um, and then he brings her back, she brings her back to life. Excuse that, guys. Sorry about that. Facebook. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. Like, it's cute, but then it's, like, robots and space and, like, the apocalypse and all these things that I love thrown into one video game. And I think it's supposed to be a series. Like, I think that's the plan right now from what I've read. Could be wrong, but I think they did say that they want to make it a brand new franchise. So, we shall see. Okay. Minecraft in the Holo HoloLens? HoloLens? I don't really know how to say that, honestly. I think it's said HoloLens. So, yeah, it would be really cool to be immersed in Minecraft. Like, to be in the game. But I don't think, like, the god setup is really that cool. I think they focus more on the whole looking at it from a different perspective. They focus on that. Which, okay, for builders, if you want to bring your world to life and, like, look at it from every perspective, that would be really cool. Playing from this outer perspective, I don't feel, I don't know, I guess I feel underwhelmed about it. But playing Minecraft from the HoloLens, yeah, that would be, I think that would be cool. Like, the immersion situation, yeah, that would rock. And, and like I said, seeing your world come to life, that would rock. But, like, playing God? Okay, Sims. You want to play Sims like that? That would be awesome. EA, I'm going to tell you right now, do it. Do it. Okay. Um, I don't know a lot about Yokai Watch. Um, it's a new DS game that they were talking about. Nintendo, of course. Um, <clears throat> vaguely interested. I don't know a lot about it. Um, and the only reason I do know about it is because I went to the Nintendo E3 website. Um, I might have missed that part of the live stream, but that's where I saw it from. Vaguely interested. Um, I'll probably do a review of it later on. But, um, looks cute. Okay, and finally, Animal Crossing. What are they even doing, Nintendo? Why? Okay, so Animal Crossing is, like, just, it's a passive, fun little thing to do. Okay, and then the Amiibo, Amiibos, Amiibos? That's a weird word to say, first off. But anyways. The Animal Crossing Amiibos, you like put them on your DS or your Wii U gamepad. And then it does like this little puzzle game thing, which I don't, it doesn't go with the Animal Crossing game to me. I don't understand why they would go there. And then they're coming out with a like home makeover game for Animal Crossing. I feel like. I don't know. And it might just be me. It might just be my own personal opinion because I'm very picky about my franchises. If if a game is a certain way, I want it to stay a certain way. I'm an older player and I am very specific about my games and, you know, but for little kids who love Animal Crossing and they're like, oh, I want it. They're like, Pokemon, I want to get them all, you know? So, yeah, for those kids, that might be great. For me, I'm more picky. And, yeah, I do play Wii U, and I do play the DS. I pulled out my Animal Crossing last night, and I was shaking them trees. But, again, that's the opinion of an older gamer of Nintendo. Or, or the Wii U. This generation of Nintendo. So, that's what we think. Uh, what I think. Um, if you want to comment and tell me what you guys think, um, give me your opinion. Start a conversation. I would love to hear what you think, if you disagree, if you agree. But this is the E3 news that I felt um, like I want to share with you guys. So, thanks for watching. Check out our Let's Plays. Um, we have other videos coming up all the time. 
Um, sorry we've been kind of behind lately. Uh, it's Father's Day. We totally redid our, our well, our house basically because now we have a desk for our let plays and for the videos and everything. If you want a tour of our like gaming setup, it's not the fanciest, but it's a lot better than what we had. And um, we've got like cool statues and stuff. So, let me know what you guys want to see. Um, I love hearing from you guys. I love talking to you guys. <sighs> Thanks for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, check us out on social media. Whatever you want to do. Thanks, guys. Bye.